Avengers Infinity War, the trailer just dropped today. Yes, so we watched it so many times. Seeing the Avengers take on uh, Thanos and the Black Order is amazing. Yeah. This is how you do a team up, baby. There are no words to describe how epic the first part of Crisis on Earth X was. Better than all the other episodes of Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow. All the superheroes from all the shows yes. just in one place is so amazing. Hey guys, what's going on? This is your bro, Jeremy. What's good? And it's me and the mares. Kind of cool. Bringing you a Justice Clubhouse podcast, season three, episode two. We're going to be talking about uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and The Punisher. Not in that order. But uh, you guys can catch the speed shows that we'll be posting at uh, some point in the future. Because this they is going to be... They should be on the Instagram gram gram. Yeah. And it looks at like you guys... The it, Justice Clubhouse. <laughs> it looks like you guys enjoyed the... Post being like that anyways so like i guess that's what we're gonna do during the summer when we kind of have more downtime uh but yeah getting into these two shows wow punisher is probably second favorite right i mean at least for me he goes daredevil and oh, then, in terms of netflix shows, yeah netflix i thought shows. you're like comparing between this and agents i can't compare this and agents they're yeah, just two that, totally that's why i said different. Ooh, i don't yeah. know if uh, i can do that um but yeah i i guess for me it's a little bit more I don't want to say relatable because it's not because he's his own person and yeah. that's very dark mm -hmm. his story. Uh, but I, I appeal to that kind of darkness a little bit more. So I feel okay. like that's that's my favorite in terms of the Netflix shows. I don't okay. know why. <laughs> that's so hard for me to say. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix. And it's been about like three months since the Punisher came out. So spoilers. And yeah. Also I, I apologize that we're doing this so late is because uh my brother was kind of waiting on me <laughs> yeah yeah i watch it like this is like probably my third time watching yeah it he's already gone through quite a bit i just uh. i just literally finished like two days ago <laughs> it's good though yeah it's good. super intense um so i guess we could go into the punisher since that's a little bit uh older and then we'll kind of go into agents but sure yeah so basically story friend castle is spot on uh this one i like that they uh you know, did their own variation because, like, the in the comics, he's a Vietnam uh, vet. Okay. So here, here they kind of like, uh, what is that? They they did a little Easter egg towards it because he's like, he's like, thank the Vietnamese. You know, like when he uh, made, made the soup the for soup. micro. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like they, there's like callbacks to like the comic side and everything like that. Uh, but I like that they kind of made it modern and mm, they yeah. wrote Billy as a fellow soldier. Yeah. That was very interesting. Um, you knew that he was going to be bad because when you hear Billy um, yeah. Russo, you just think Jigsaw right away. Yeah. You guys seen like Punisher Warzone and stuff like that or just know the character of Punisher. You know that that's his rival. Mm -hmm. uh, it made it more uh, emotionally engaging to see this be his brother in arms and his brother uh, outside of uh, being a military man. And I think, yeah, I think, um, what's his name? Ben Barnes absolutely killed the role. Oh, that's his real name? Yeah. Prince Caspian. Ben Barnes. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude, that's crazy. Yeah. I, I didn't notice that. Yeah, he is Prince Caspian. Yeah. Like, in my head, I'm trying to, I'm trying to picture both Prince Caspian and, and him. Yeah, just Billy Russo. It's so, so different. Yeah. He looks more like Aslan now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, sure. he's 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 evil as fudge. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy to see. Um, you know, well, the entire like season is crazy. It's it's yeah. like uh, this is probably the most grounded character of all the Netflix characters because he doesn't have powers and stuff yeah. like that. But this guy goes through some of the most intense. Uh, like predicaments throughout this whole entire uh, yeah series, dude. I. I it was talking to you about like matching him up with other characters. Yeah. And like, I know he's just a human, but I feel like he would try to have a go at Thanos if it were to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he'd, just, he'd be like the ape. <laughs> you and me purple. You and me purple. Let's, let's go. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to take that gauntlet and I'm going to walk that way. You do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, you do what you got to do. <laughs> and then Star Lord's like, "What the hell are you talking about, man? <laughs> you take that blaster. You do what you got to do." That, those are the two things. The yeah, he's like, yeah. It, "It's either uh, it's you and me. It's yeah. you and me, pal. That or 
I'm going to go that way. You do what you got to do. <laughs> and grunting. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's a scary grunt. Yo. Yeah. I, it's well, like animalistic. If someone like ever did that in front of me, I'd be like, I'm just going to walk the opposite way. Yeah, or, or I'd pull my fist up just in case. Yeah, not just that. I'd probably just move to the side. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> we got to get you out of here. Okay. Make sure he doesn't die. <laughs> Like, that was, like, crazy. Like, especially, like, the scene where it showed him in the war zone with everybody and he was trying to get... Like, that whole entire uh, scene he described in Daredevil Season 2 of uh, uh, Soonover. Yeah. Um, Schoonover. Like, yeah, Schoonover getting injured. Sco- sco- Schoonover. I like that they didn't gloss over that this season. They actually showed that yeah. scene. Yeah. And it, you see, like, all the... the pieces of the puzzle kind of forming together and how the rivalry between Jigsaw and Punisher happened and um, why Frank is the way he is because mm-hmm. I definitely don't like the way he handles stuff but yeah. that's like the only way but because I think it's because like all the situations he's been put in yeah he hasn't had a say in how yeah. it goes he's kill just, or be killed t- yeah take the order and whatever happens, happens. And yeah. now that he is who, who he is, the Punisher, he can make his own choices. It's like what Micro said. He's just like, uh, he said the uh, Madani, yeah. who's an awesome character, by the way. Yeah. She's badass. I, I got you, Madani. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I it's, got you. It's crazy, though, because uh, Micro's like, um, uh, you and I want the same thing. She's like, what? He's like, justice. And she's like, yeah, isn't that exactly what you want? And, he, and then uh, Micro's like, yeah. But you're going to realize that there's no such thing. Yeah. And she's like, what? Yeah. And he's like, like, you know, I thought you were justice, but like, it's not going to work out that way. These people need to go down. And it's true. Like when you got someone like Rollins, who I didn't think was going to be orange, yeah, Agent orange, um, which is kind of funny because they kind of remind me of a orangutan. But uh, that's gracious. <laughs> uh, just the way he looked, his head was weirdly guess, shaped and he sure. or just the way he. Yeah. And it's just. It's just the character. We're not yeah. talking about the actor himself. But uh, yeah, he's fantastic. Like he didn't do anything but like get other people's hands dirty. Yeah, except for that one scene with the the, the torture scene. Yeah, but even then, and like his that's yeah. like that's messed up. It's like when even when he has like the, the smallest chance, you yeah, know, he just, he's gonna take it. He has the upper hand. He'll take it. And Frank Castle's tied to the chair. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take my blows because I know he should have shut back. the fudge up and not like uh, to, to antagonize Billy. Billy. Yeah, because Billy wouldn't have cut those. Uh, and then Billy's like, he's like his own side. Yeah, he's just he wants the money and that's it. He's like that scene right there kind of uh, solidified that because yeah. he's against Frank because mm. he that's what he's ordered to do. Yeah, but at the same time he's like, I don't want. This dude to to keep giving me orders. Yeah, he's Agent like, Orgin. I know, bitch. Yeah. Cut. I and said origins. Origins. Yeah. But yeah, the punishment is freaking brutal. As That was probably the most disgusting death scene I've seen in the MCU so far. Um, it fit the crime. It was just a little much. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, right. Orange. You see, like, I'm going to paint this floor blood red. <laughs> Did you see? The way he was hitting him, and then yeah. the camera shook. It's like he had super strength. Yeah, and then the lady. She's uh, like, she's Jesus, like, it looked like he got hit by a train. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes were gouged in. His yeah. face was That was a little in. too much, right? And he's just like, he took his two thumbs. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> and I hear like the little splatter, and then he's like. <laughs> and you see Agent Orange is like, he's like squirming. He yeah. didn't even try to like to scream. He was just like, oh, he couldn't because his vocal cords. Yeah, like, <laughs> that too. But, um. That's another thing. Uh, at least he can uh, kind of hold up mm-hmm. because that first stab straight to the chest. Yeah. That's, uh, he was like, ah. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. Because even Billy just got nicked and he was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like all about the look. Yeah. He didn't really care. But uh, and before we dive into more of those characters, uh, I think like the dynamic that Micro and, and Punisher had here were, it was awesome. I like that they made him an NSA analyst before he went into I'm hiding. just an analyst. <laughs> that was like the, the whole... Uh, uh, two months ago, I was a priest. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so... He said, well, he said that for the first couple of episodes, yeah. and then he stopped. Frank, um, uh, I understand everything 
you're doing for me. I am so grateful. <laughs> just like I love his like scenes because he's just like so he's sarcastic. Yeah. But at the same time, he's he's pretty like uh he he, he observes everything. He, yeah. he sees every little thing. But he also just like makes sure not to go too far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just love those scenes where he's just like, yeah, I understand everything you're doing for me. Yeah, then we kept, we kept talking about this, but the scene where uh, his wife kissed the Punisher. That was funny. And then he comes back his to the base. is just like buried in his, his is hood. It, is that we're going to deal with this? Yes. Yeah, yeah we're going to deal with this. He didn't get in, or he tried to fight him. Yeah, the whole argument. Yeah, that that scene was uh, very funny. Yeah, you big scary beautiful man. That is <laughs> the greatest line ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You big scary beautiful man. <laughs> and it's just oh like the camera God. angle there is yeah. funny. And Frank's just just like, <laughs> now blood all over yeah. the place. I don't even understand how that dude survives, like, the, the stuff that he... Because oh, usually, like, just even nick the nicks that he got on his arm could have killed a person. Yeah. He gets stabbed one too many times. Yeah, that was too much. It's like... like uh, that scene in Daredevil where Claire cleared his uh, airway yeah. was, like, ten times this... Ten times that when uh, he got really badly hurt, they brought him back to Madani's apartment. Madani, yeah. And then, like, her, her dad stabbed her here and just, like... <laughs> It's like a giant syringe. Like, okay, that's one. Right. It's working. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh. Uh, how did that? What? <laughs> but then when he put this, the rest of the syringe, I'm like, okay, yeah. it makes sense. But <laughs> just like that first blood splatter, like, I'm like, oh, uh, that's not doing anything. You, you see, know? like when he had the glass stuck in his arm and he just yanked it out and then Micro was just like, Jesus. It just went. <laughs> yeah, into the bathroom. Just, yeah. Yeah, but this this the action was so good. The character development. There's so many dark characters here. There's, yeah, uh, I like the the fact that they touched on PTSD and so like we we know people who are in the military now. Yeah, uh, some who have been like their cousins too. Yeah, a couple of them. And uh, we see like the effects that it has, and and this I can't say it's like super accurate because we we don't know firsthand how that is. But yeah, it's pretty accurate as to how they act mm-hmm. when they're around us. Um. And it's kind of, I mean, you kind of see Frank has nobody up until Micro and yeah. Karen. I, I mean, Karen, yeah, but um, yeah, it's it's interesting here because he really is an anti-hero. Mm. He doesn't do what's righteous. He just does what he thinks is yeah, right, uh, which is killing all criminals mm-hmm. and corrupt people. Um, and I, I didn't think that they're going to make Rollins like someone that was going to like be able to stand out throughout the entire series, but they did. And um, Micro's family, I, I thought that would have been like a little bit too, like, you know, like adding too many characters, mm-hmm. but they added to the plot so perfectly. Yeah. And I like how Micro is just like this conflict. He's basically like Frank where he wants to protect his family, but he's too scared to like be out in the open. Yeah. Whereas Frank is just like, I don't care. I'll just be out there. I'll get freaking <laughs> run over by a car, her car <laughs> and have everything bad happen. <laughs> like, he literally jumped in front of bullets for Karen. Yeah. Yeah, how crazy that is. Oh, yeah. When the, the senator or whatever. Yeah, he took, like, dude? a whole damn clip to the back. Yeah. Like, he, he's crazy. Like, he's got yeah, some crazy pain even tolerance. Even with Billy, he got shot multiple times. Yeah. In the carousel. And stabbed by the and hidden stabbed blade. multiple times as well. But then uh, Billy got his face cheese grated. Yeah. Uh, before we get into that, let's talk about the Sam guy. Uh, and, uh, it's another, like, he, why him? That's, uh, like, he's such that a cool guy. The first episode he was introduced, I kind of was a little skeptical. Yeah. It, the way he was acting was just, like, it kind of showed that he was the new guy. Yeah. But it's crazy, his progression. Yeah. It, it kind of... Which is funny because kinda, he's not really a new guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's hilarious. But it's, like, it's like a, a very, it molded very perfectly. Yeah. Like, his acting. Yeah. Because it, it kind of seemed out of place. So it, like, grew on you. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, me personally, yes, yeah. yes. Um, but, yeah, he was, he was pretty fantastic. It was just sad when he died. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I actually went back and watched that scene. Like, Billy did smile. Yeah. He right? did smirk. He did, yeah, it was, like, in quick, the hallway? He, uh, at the top of the flight, yeah. the stairs, he was just, like. Oh, sorry, in the staircase? Yeah. He did, like, the you know, like. The but then he's, like, you killed my partner. And he's just, like. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, the Dylan O'Brien smile where he, like, looks back at the kid to make him puke? He's just yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. It's like the Grinch smile is kind of like that. It's just very subtle, but it's like psychotic. Mm-hmm. Um, and like everything leading up to that, it, it was really good. Uh, Michael's like his re- uh, him reuniting with his family was really emotional. It was really good. I like yeah. that scene. That was awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, everyone's pretty fantastic in this series. Um, Allison was great. Uh, I didn't think that we're gonna see him here, but he's yeah, really cool. Uh, Curtis was awesome. Yes, he's a boss. <sighs> You know, uh, if I had my my other leg, I would have snapped that kid in two. Uh, yeah. The speaking of that kid, you see the brother part. He's mm-hmm. just like, shoot me, Kurt. Shoot me, Kurt. Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> he's punching his yeah. chest like he's already losing blood, bro. And he's he about to pass big out. Big ass eye. <laughs> yeah, Lewis was crazy. Yo. Yeah, he's a crazy uh, character. That kind of goes back to the PTSD thing. Yeah, where it's like it's kind of like if Frank. It shows a whole other story, yeah. the storyline, and it's it's cool how they molded it with uh, uh, Frank. Yeah, it's like Kirk. if Frank didn't have those morals, that's yeah. where he would have ended yeah. up. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, man, the kid really thought that yeah, the justice system is corrupt, but for him to to take action like that by uh, you know terrorizing. The wrong people, because those, yeah. those people are just workers. You Dude, know? imagine if they had gone the other way, and then he was just doing exactly what Frank did. Yeah, that would be crazy team up. But what if it's like, you know, he's like, don't do that. And then he's like, what are you doing that right now? And he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That probably would have been uh, a firefight yeah. between the two. Oh, that would have been cool to develop him. Yeah. It would have his his uh the that the was, way he went out was very uh gruesome. Yeah. I felt bad for his dad. Yeah. His dad was a good guy. They should have done something at the end there. Yeah. I thought that like that was that guy's something. house because of the flag. Yeah. But that's that was what's his micro's house. Oh, I thought they're gonna talk to him, the father, yeah, and ex- like give an explanation. That was but, sad. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, cause he he, he lost his wife, yeah, through sickness, sickness some sort of yeah, sickness, and then he said that he was suicidal and stuff like that. So, what more, you know? That's crazy. That's sad. Maybe like that would be crazy if they built his character into somebody of bad. A, yeah, somewhat of a villain. Maybe he's just like I, I lost everything and the cab driver. Is, yeah, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> this is your fault, Frank. Yeah. And he tries to go after Castle. That'd be crazy, yeah. And it's just like a tragic story because he just wants vengeance for his son. Yeah, that'd be sad. Yeah. He reminds me of Fitz's dad. He yeah. looked a little bit like him, but he's a little bit uh, taller, I guess. Taller and not as chubby. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to no. say it, but you, you said it. Um, But yeah, uh, just everything was very well balanced. I love like the little f- uh, micro and, and Frank scenes were very like brother like. Also husband and wife like. Yeah, also that too. <laughs> Don't stress yourself out too much, Frank. When he was just like pull up, doing pull ups. Yeah. <laughs> Don't overexert yourself, Frank. Could you get some eggs and milk too? <laughs> he's like, you don't have to be an ass all the time. And when Frank leaves, he's just like, hmm. <laughs> um, anything else to add though? Uh, I really, I really, I really like this. Show um, Easter eggs. It's hard to say what Easter eggs. This is a lot of callbacks to the Punisher comics. Sorry, um, two things. Pony Boy, awesome. Yes. Uh, Wolf. Oh, is that his Carson last name? Wolf? Yeah. Carson Wolf. Yeah. Uh, Madani is amazing. It's crazy that she uh, survived a bullet to the head. Yes. Uh, Her parents are pretty amazing too. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. To hurt. Mother's voice is scary. Very deep. deep. Yeah, she smokes it's, a lot. It's, dude, dude, I have <laughs> I have a pretty high voice, so it's not. She comparable. sounds like yo-yo. <laughs> yeah, but hers is like scary. It's like she's got that smoker's voice. Yeah, and she has like some sort of enhancement. <laughs> it just sounds like yeah. her voice is being projected a lot more than it should be. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 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 cool that they they're sort of helpful. Yeah. Especially the father was helpful. Yeah, the one episode he showed up. Yes, he's yeah, very Yeah, the helpful. last episode. It's like, what's going on? There's a bloody, who's the bloody man? You know, and then the mom's like, no, don't help him. And the dad's like, sometimes criminals are fighting for justice. Yeah. Uh, I like that. The, I like yeah. that line. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy Russo was a good villain. That's, yeah, the last thing I was going to say. Uh, Jigsaw. Wow. Yeah. 
that really that was a really good origin. Like it's it's crazy how uh, how much he, of a beating he took as well. <laughs> his streak, <laughs> his streak when he got dragged through the like, mirror, okay. it was just like ah. I, I was like Frank, okay, that's that's a little too much. You know, his face is already broken. You shot through it. his cheek. You you you, sh- you, sh- you shoved his face into the mirror glass yeah. multiple times, right? And then you and smeared then it all over the place. What you had to place. do next, yes, yeah, smear it. And then you freaking knead his face into two it. more times. And then yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's I look like hamburger meat. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's that's pretty that's pretty ugly, man. And then Frank had to kick him one more time, yeah. and then the the shards of glass that are on his face that just kind of cemented his. Uh, his origin and also cemented my, uh, my my terrors, yeah. my, my my nightmares. That's very, yo, so you know, scary, in yo. the second season is gonna be crazy because it got ordered for a second season. Yeah. Um, I think they they mentioned the defenders at some point. Oh, well, like you know, they mentioned super powered people. Hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard a Captain America reference in there. Uh. So then I don't think they or they, they might have mentioned the incident with the Avengers again. Um, There's kind of that um, resemblance between main characters and side characters, uh, especially with Cap and Bucky. I just saw that whole, uh, especially <laughs> physical features when Punisher, when Frank had the the beard, yeah, and the hair, the long hair, rem- reminded me of Cap. Cap in Infinity War in the the trailer, and then as for Bucky, that Ben Barnes dude looks like. Bucky. Yeah, and I don't know why. Instead he of just kinda metal looks arm, like him. He's gonna have a clay face. Yeah. <laughs> but this cre- he, he kinda does look, remind me of Sebastian Stone. Yeah. Just a little bit more lanky. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, um, it's cool. I didn't I didn't notice the Easter egg, so uh theories it's gonna be Jigsaw versus Punisher second season, that's for sure. Yeah. Um Madani's that, probably still gonna be in a picture, and so is Kurt. Yeah. Kurt's apparently gonna have a bigger role next season. Nice. And nice. I think Micro is going to come back. Because in the comics, Micro and Punisher, they're like friends mm-hmm. up until Micro goes rogue and he actually goes back. I don't think they're ever going to do that. But I think. But why Why? Why so? Sorry. Because uh, he just, he just goes crazy. Uh, and then like he just become they become rivals and stuff. like It's like Lex Luthor. They, to they do like a. a sort of drama-ish type thing, and then it makes him go rogue, where he's just like, I want you to stay away from my family and my kids, yeah. you know? Or my wife and my kids. Family, <laughs> family Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He just makes up something like that because he, he's kind of uh, not just jealous, but scared yeah. that Punisher might take over. Because I think uh, Ebon Moss Barak, I think that's his name. That's wow. the guy that plays that's... um the micro he said that they already kind of did that for the first season uh-huh. and if they were to have a second season it's going to be like they did it backwards they did more of like the love hate thing yeah there and then in the, the second scary, se- beautiful man <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but yeah they, they they did like the the rivalry at the the start of the show so that way they could do something different where it wasn't just like him straight helping him now ah. it's going to be him helping him throughout get stuff so yeah, through yeah It'll be interesting. Um, another theory, I really feel like that if they do bring in the father of Lewis, they should do something like that. Just just a mini storyline, you know, his sort of uh, vengeance. That'd be awesome. Uh, for his son, or avenge me, my son. <laughs> uh, That's my son. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe do something like that, even for like an episode or two. Just that would be cool. You know, a little way to end that knot. Because it's just kind of open-ended because the father, he wasn't even mentioned at the end. Yeah. Lewis, so they had exploded. Um, is there anything else? <sighs> no, nah, I think that's pretty much I, it. I was kind of surprised that no, like, no other defender showed up, especially since yeah. something blew a hole like three times in New York. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's not like, uh, whatever. They uh, Hopefully, they start crossing over. Yeah, maybe next season for Punisher and all these other shows. That'd be cool. Just like a little, hey, did you hear that? Like, just real quick. Yeah. Hey, or, hey, are you okay? Even just a phone call. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm okay, Red. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Just, just something like that. It's like, hey, Red, how are you even using the phone? 
I can see. <laughs> I can feel the numbers. Okay. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, is there anything else? No, it's just, uh, I just want to say it's very solid. Fantastic. Fantastic um, Four. You want to start talking about agents? Yeah, just give a rating, though. Oh, I... Okay, go ahead. Uh, no, I was... I, th- I, I can't think of it. I'm going to give this two batches out of two. Oh, what? So, oh, well, that's a perfect score, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Two batches. Batch batch, of, batch of fives. Yeah. So, it's ten out of ten. No, uh, it's five out of five. Damn it. Uh, no, no. Damn it's it. Ten, yeah. Uh, what the freak did he order? Uh, uh, I give this three three eggs, a side of bacon, and Sour. and and three three two two sourdough toast. Nice. Uh, with some coffee, over my dead body, because <laughs> Frank never dies. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what kind of rating that was. Uh, number rating, I'll give this a, a solid twelve out of. 10. 12? Oh, okay. That's really good. <laughs> no, That's really good. S- I was about to say a higher number for the, <laughs> the other half of the rating. That would have been bad. Oh, um, yeah, 12 out of 10. It's very, it's very uh, spicy meatball. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, going into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we, we thought Punisher was really good. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has also been pretty amazing this yeah, season. Yeah, this is so. Uh, we're going to be talking about the first five episodes. Six. and Oh, six episodes. Six. Long story short, uh, Agents get trapped in... Sp- Future, future space, space. Uh, I think 90 years into the future <coughs> where yeah. Kree were uh, Kree rule like a outside space station yep. um, that and they're harboring over Earth, which has been destroyed by Daisy, apparently. <laughs> um, and it, it, they're basically the only one that got left was Fitz, who actually gets to the future with the help. Apparently of he's not part of the prophecy. <laughs> that's messed up. Because oh, a little no, girl. That's not... yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a little funny, but it just it just sucks hearing yeah. that he's not part of the prophecy. But yeah, he's he's uh brought there by a man named Enoch. Yeah, who is something. He's so he's, he's such a mystery. You said that he was a Cree. I don't think so. I think he just is able to shape shift. Yeah, yeah. Because I was actually thinking that he was whatever Gondu is. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, so, I think, but yeah, I he's, feel like he's probably in human shape shifter. Like, you know what you're doing? I'm Cree too, my brother. Yeah, <laughs> Cree too, brother. Oh yeah, he he's said like, I'm you very... know, people don't like, survive. He's like, I am not a human. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, so basically, Fitz gets there with the help of him and uh, a little girl who knows and everything. and and who? Hunter. Hun- oh, Hunter. Yeah, um, episode five. I totally forgot. Who is still with Bobby? And it was awesome that yeah, they're just laying low. It mm-hmm. was awesome that uh, the episode we left up on was. Uh, Fits getting to the the team. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I could be wrong, but I feel like he referenced the fact that no one, <laughs> their show wasn't going because no one wanted them. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we kind of laid low because uh, nobody wants us. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's that's awesome. That That is funny. And uh, then he the asked moment. about him and Gemma and then this. Hashtag is. Marvel's least wanted. <laughs> Yes. That's what he said, too, yeah. on a, po- a post on his Instagram before. Yeah. I feel bad. Um, but, yeah, uh, that sucks that the, the, the Fitz is not part of the prophecy. But it goes to show you that he can still do something about it. He's the variable that's yeah. just, like, not, uh, not accounted for. But he's, like, doing? the wild card. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so basically uh, the rest of the team... Uh, May, she's got a damn broken leg and she's fighting Kreese. You got Daisy <laughs> fighting Kreese with her. When she first gets there, she gets ravaged by that dude. Ben. Deke. No, oh, Deke. yeah, Deke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then she, she gets the, the thing stabbed straight through her like a pipe. Yeah. Or no, that's because she, she got transported at that random ass spot. Yeah. Where in and between a pipe. Into- <laughs> like, what the fudge? This in between bad. a pipe. So she pulled it off. Her leg was broken or whatever. And then the Deke dude just clawed through her hand to give her the metric. Do you know why that's such amazing writing? Why on she... on behalf of May's uh, character? Because she, she actually she tore her meniscus. Oh. So they instead of like having her sit out, they actually like kept her in filming and then they wrote her character as injured. And she's she was okay with that. It seems yeah. like that's crazy. She's 
That's t- that's why the show though. is so good, and I think it's gonna re- get renewed. All for these another people, season. Uh, yeah, the the not just the staff and the the crew, but yeah. the actors themselves really like to put themselves uh, on the front line. Which is why no we what see happens. them in Infinity War, yeah, or the other part of Infinity War. Um, but yeah, th- this is this season is so good. Like you know, they eventually reunite, but on the way they meet, uh, um, people who live in these conditions of, of not being born on earth but they're born in uh space basically uh, a space uh station version of uh snow piercer yeah basically, basically that yeah. um and another cool fact is that chris evans was in that movie uh <laughs> and you see all these characters that, that try to help the team you know uh, try to maintain some sort of uh uh, facade that they belong there and stuff like that but obviously yeah. things don't go too well uh especially uh not especially but a cool dude was uh virgil yeah he apparently died the first episode <laughs> he did <laughs> <But> yeah wrecked <laughs> he's it's cool that there's people that have hope yeah and uh, then we had tess but then she died she died too deke Damn. what happened to him i totally i have no idea he's i think still he just, passed out in, yeah, I think in that he chair <laughs> he, he that's kind of crazy how he created a program. So yeah. he, he's got to be maybe Gemma and Fitz's like grandson or something. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Is there anything? I mean, we, we pretty much caught up with everything. And like ba- basically, Daisy was being used, uh, to maybe been sold to higher uh beings. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Fitz. And I think saved she's them just all. falsely accused for the whole world destruction. Yeah. Uh, that could have been Thanos. Thanos. Yeah. That's. That's probably the tie-in. Oh, and maybe she did that fighting Thanos. Ah, that's a cool theory, and probably will work. It probably will work. <laughs> she knows the way. <laughs> Daisy knows the way. <laughs> but, uh, <Sorry>. oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, what do you call it's that? It's a meme, guys. It's a yeah, meme. It's a spicy meme. meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th- right now we're caught up with everything. Uh, the team is back together, but they gotta find the way to Dude, get back. Fitz is a badass. He saved everyone. He just and so did Gemma. Switch. Yeah, Gemma. Gemma, Gemma uh, slashed the dude's throat. Cassius. Yeah, that. Well, we didn't even yeah mention the other people, the other characters. So there's Cassius and Sonara. Uh, Cassius is like the the owner of. He's the, like the Cree. Cree uh, leader of his. What is that? He's like a reject of, yeah. of his royal family. family yeah, and uh, he's, he's got, his brother. Yeah, I forgot. We don't know who his parents are. T T call her whatever? I heard something yeah, like that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh Sonara is his right hand woman. They look like Avatar people. Yeah. It's crazy her what do you call it? Her sound not soundtrack, her her music. Yeah, her score. It's like, yeah, it's scary sounding. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like Snowpiercer. It's ah, exactly like that, yeah. like the terror scenes. And she she basically uses TK to control like these silver balls. balls. Uh, yeah, which apparently balls. can't go through Daisy, but they could go through everybody else. Yeah. Well, she has Cree. Well, her. that's true. But still, that was kind of crazy. Like it didn't even. It just hurt her a little bit. Yeah. Um. But yeah, th- th- I like the way that they reunited everybody. Uh, you got Mac, Yo Yo, and Coulson like having to like deal with like living in that environment and then yeah. working and then it's very gruesome. It's like uh uh. A life spent is a life earned, or a yeah. life earned is a life spent, something like that, one or the other. Yeah. Uh, so they have these things where they basically... Selection. Yeah. Selection, and then there's a, a group of them that are selected to kill each other. Yeah, and, and then you have the inhuman they end kids. Up, they, no matter what happens, they all die. Somebody have to. Yeah. So <laughs> if the last man standing is the last man standing, the Kree just still... They yeah. still take them away and then, uh, but yeah, there's there's the also kid. another selection for Terragenesis for the kids that turn eighteen or whatever. Uh, they go through Terragenesis. What's the new remake. kid's name? Um, I'm gonna call him Zach. I don't Zach, know his name. Uh, yeah, Marcus. he's a, apparently he's a he's a uh, he's a rock based per- human. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, in in the comics, I, he's basically like the thing. Huh? He actually encases himself in that rock, but oh, here dope. he just can manipulate it for now. Um, and that's where we're left at. 
And I think it's pretty fantastic because hopefully no one, nobody dies. Oh, that's funny. You said he's like the thing, and you said that's pretty fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> and it's cool because Fantastic Four is an MCU you now. <laughs> that's um, awesome. And also, Fitz and Jerry will get married. Yeah, he's like, I, I proposed to you when, but you're, you couldn't hear me. Yeah, she's like, oh, she's of like, course yeah. you did. And he's like, no, seriously, I did. <laughs> That I that was like for some reason it was sad, but then I started laughing. Yeah, because it's like he couldn't. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I like that they didn't. It's so uh, abstract their, yeah. their relationship. It's just that different that she's like, okay, yeah, I, I, I probably believe that happens, but I, it's just that that out there. Yeah, you know that something like that would happen when yeah. you proposed. But yeah, what were you about to say? I was just gonna say like. About time they finally didn't like leave a cliffhanger on the Fitz Gemma romance. Like he actually saved her in the episode he came back. Yeah. So Oh, that's another thing. I just noticed and the, his friends, the outfits. That was like Han Solo and uh what's her name? Uh from Star Wars. The way oh, like, they're dressed. Prin- uh Princess Leia. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> very inspired. That's very awesome. Um You guys might call me out on that. And also like, oh, da- Daisy is right, he wore Daisy's Luke. <laughs> yeah, Daisy's Luke. She's like sis, uh, <laughs> Gemma's sister. Yes. Exactly. And then you got uh Mac as Lando. Oh, yeah, and not Ray Clark Gregg. He uh he directed this episode and seems like he is a bad big fan. Ass. Yeah. It's badass. Um anything else? Yeah, I think that's uh, yeah. Hopefully we see like starts you know they start um acknowledging the TV side of things on the movies because we have Black Panther coming out um in a month and then you have uh, Infinity Wars coming out on May fourth yeah um I think Black Panther is February eighteenth right sixteenth sixteenth but it comes out the the day before on yeah you know IMAX it's, Sorry. it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, um, and de- definitely, an Agents has proved this season that they can do the whole space time thing. Yeah, sorry, they do it uh, both together. I know this is, <laughs> it's more personal for me. Uh, what made me like Black Panther even more, other than the character, uh, is that that soundtrack. Because the first time we heard it in the theater is like that just reminded me of uh, Icy Stars for yeah, some reason, okay, yeah, like yeah. the the big bad wolf or something, yeah. and it kind of resembles that. The and then I was wolf. like boom, 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 doo, doo, boom, boom, and yeah. he jumps out of the sky. Yeah, I don't know. It just the music really speaks to me uh, in a sense of like me uh, learning to like something. Oh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's this that soundtrack made me like Black Panther. Even Trav more. Brian, get him on the soundtrack. That kid is really good. He's on Instagram. Go check him out. He's he needs to be on that soundtrack. Yeah. Um. But yeah, getting back to agents. Hopefully, and and this is kind of relating it to the whole TV show side of things. Charlie Cox has mentioned this too. I think I mentioned this on a talk at some point. Um. But he said at Ace Comic Con recently, somebody asked him, "Is there an Avenger?" Yeah, going to cameo on your shows or on the Netflix at some point, he said, I cannot comment on that. That's a secret. <laughs> so we either need to see Captain America or Hawkeye show up on those shows or Nick Fury. Yeah. I'm tired of these mother effing people who can see not being able to do nothing. You blind? Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I, I'd love to see uh, Fury on there. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, uh, Cap's just like, I'm not sure. I don't really like running in blind. And then you see Daredevil's like, I'm a man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they do something like that, you know, like crack jokes. Yeah. Uh, like Cap's like, uh, talking to Fury. Hey, yeah. Let me handle this, right? He's like, okay, what I need is, what I need is for your ass to get on that plane <laughs> and we gotta fight. <laughs> and then Daredevil's just like, he lands. He's just like, whoa. Either my senses are just really effed up or there's like a 10 foot tall purple guy in front of me. <laughs> and he's just touching his, yeah. his his belly. He's like, just give me a second. I need a Wow, you're basically like Wilson. But just give me a second. <laughs> yeah, but it would be crazy like to, to see Cap just be like, I need you to protect Earth while we go up or we go into either the mirror dimension or we go up into space. Yeah. Um, th- this, this, everything, uh, these TV well, shows and everything. How they do that? What if they not just take it into space? They take it into that future, 
That would so be insane. It, it, it fits in with the whole. You know, I we have like a, a an idea here. You guys could take it or leave it. It is either for people who who watch us or, or people who work for Marvel Studios or anything like that. <laughs> no one's have watch one. This. Have faith, man. Have faith. <laughs> Sorry, but, the uh, that you looked at me. I was like, no one watch this. <laughs> You're like, have faith. Dude. Yeah, have faith, man. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I'm saying is, just have this one scene, right? Say like the Avengers are fighting Thanos and and with the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yeah. You have a shot of them. Uh, it's basically that shot in Guardians where you see Yondu and um, a Groot and Rocket and uh, what's his name? Peter. No, no, the the other. Uh, What's Ravager. What's that dude's name? Oh, I forget. It's it's Sean Gunn's character, a Kraglin. Mm. And you see them like uh, ju- uh t- jumping through space. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, like, oh. it's, like <laughs> it's like it's like we're supposed to be traveling like, at seventy two thousand hertz. So he's, like, he's like, Yeah, we're traveling at five hundred thousand. He's oh, like oh, oh, oh. the human body can only take fifty jumps. He's like, I know. We're about to do seven hundred <laughs> <laughs> And then you see Groot's like <laughs> And then uh, when he stops, he's like, yeah. uh, so basically, like that scene where they're going through portals and stuff, and then you just see them once on in like New York, and then yeah. once in what, and you see the defenders fighting alongside Agents of Shield. Yeah, just even one, like it's yeah, like literally a minute scene. Maybe he he jumps them, so mm-hmm. it's like in a mirror dimension or some sort of dimension. But it, he's able to jump them, and then maybe he jumps them to that future where uh, that stuff happens, and then Earth. Yeah, like just have them there for like a second. That's all we're asking. Like, yeah, you, I just want to see Frank Castle and Daredevil and Daisy Johnson just a red fighting see everything. That purple guy. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Red's just like. I mean, uh, Frank's just like, oh my god, <laughs> just like he doesn't know how to respond. He's like, well, just a big purple guy, and then Luke's just like, Jesus, <laughs> and then, and then Danny's would- like. Top and you it, said a dragon was so weird. I know what would top it is if Berlin, he walks up next to Frank, he's like, man, that's one ugly son of a bitch. And, then, and then Frank's like, kind of looks like you. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny uh, if uh, just like the, the, that scene is, you know, happening. You see like Cap and Thor like punching Thanos through like a wormhole and then you just see Danny just go like, guys, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's eating a dumpling. Yeah. He takes lots and of Frank's, like, Frank's like, to Daredevil, he's like, what's over this guy? And he's like, takes, takes a lot to focus my chi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is, we just want to see these characters all together. They're all part of the same universe. Just let them cameo. They deserve it. Like, the, the their characters are so rich and everything like that. Like, they just deserve even that little spot, you know, like that little bit of recognition in the film yeah you know and, yeah. and these people on uh age of shield the uh, um the netflix series they've said that they're so down to uh be part of it and even charlie cox actually he's the only one i think of of the whole entire uh john or part of the mcu that's contractually obligated to show up in movies uh. so um, even if it's just him, where it's just like Cap's like, okay, we did this nah, once. but I, I feel like Daredevil's there. I want Punisher. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they could just even have a scene. Like, they, they don't even have to fight or something. Or maybe they show that fighting scene in the second part. But the first part, they're just like, uh, Cap goes to Daredevil's like, okay, I need your help because we tried to do this one time and everyone died. So we reset everything. We only have one more chance to do this. And Daredevil's like, okay. But I'm going to have to use a crew. And you see Frank come out of the shadows. You see uh, Jessica Jones. You see Daisy Johnson. You see Coulson. Coulson's like, you still didn't sign my card, you son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) So for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they all deserve it. Like, I could just see everyone in the theater would go crazy to see all those people, like, on screen. Even if it's just for, like, a second. Just, like, all these, uh, the underdogs come out of the shadows to help the big guys. Yeah. Just once. Yeah. That'd be I, awesome. I'd really like to see that, you know. Um, Sorry, I'm just envisioning all of them like walking. Yeah. Uh, like next to each other, you know. I'm not supposed to say the other side because yeah. it's a it's okay. Marvel podcast. But the the DC heroes, the the DC TV, yeah, uh, the Fortnite crossover, the last episode when they all walked the line together. 
I'd like to see that for the MCU with the uh, the the street level heroes. That would be know, awesome. Together. And see, no, it would be it would be okay because uh, Frank would be like, "Do I get to kill anybody?" And then Cap's just like, "Actually, you get to kill every." <laughs> what would be even more hilarious is if uh, Deadpool was walking with them. He's yeah. like, he's just walking all casually, right? And then Cap's just like, "Hey, man, you're supposed to be with us." He's like. <laughs> Oh, I know. I just want to get it for the cool shot. <laughs> it's like, oh, they come too early. <laughs> this is not. This is the 2019 one. Or <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> just do that. I know. He's like, I never know. I never know <laughs> these things, you know. Uh, but yeah, is there anything else you want to add? Uh, Agent Shield is fantastic uh, so far. Fantastic. Um, fantastic. Punisher is awesome. All the defenders are going to be coming back this year as well. Yeah. Um, on their respective TV shows. And it's just they're working hard, yo. Yeah, they are. And we will they be too. Um, anything else? No, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy with what's been coming out. Bears, what do you think about it? Bro, guys, bro, I'm telling you right now. Holy fuck. 10 out of 10 this episode was the best egg I've ever seen in my life. Nice. Very nice. 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 Um, so I guess we just do one big hashtag. Sure. Uh, no, no, do two. Two hashtags. Okay, yeah, for Punisher. Dude, we should just for the Punisher hashtag. You big scary beautiful man. Okay, yeah, that's that's good for, for right? the Punisher. And then for this one, we'll just do, just do Fitzsimmons wedding. Oh, okay. All right. Sure. I was, about, I was thinking of something else for um. Uh, fudge, just something that I think Fitz said. What did he say? I don't know. He he. It's something that someone said that episode. Jima. <laughs> sure, I guess yeah. Fitzsimmons wedding. That's the I can't think of anything right now. That's good. That's good. Um, anything else? Ah, I'm, I'm very happy with these these shows. Um. So with that being said, you guys go leave a comment down below what you thought about this episode and what you think about uh things that are going on the MCU right now. And if you enjoyed, go leave a like. Be sure to check out our. Instagram and Stardust as well down below. Yes. Uh, if you guys want to follow us on Stardust, it is at Justice Club H A U S, and for our Instagram, it is the Justice Clubhouse. So, uh, yeah, we'll be yes. posting live reactions of the, the episodes, uh, whether Marvel or DC or. Anything actually, we we might have other random stuff. If you we have so many to Christmas use. things. Yeah, just go <laughs> check it out. You guys want to see that? Uh, and then Instagram has speed shows. speed shows as well as gifts. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I need a burp right now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye. Bye.